वेलकम बैक टू सॉरी वर्क एंड एन सी ट्विटर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस एन सी स्टूडेंट ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डू द एनालिसिस ऑफ हेलिकल कॉइल सो वी हैव मेड द जोमेट्री इन द सॉरी वर्क ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज आवर हेलिकल कॉइल मेड इन सॉरी वर्क सो वी विल सेव दिस फाइल इन द स्टेप फॉर्मेट एंड आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक ऑफ द पार्ट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द एनालिसिस ऑफ द फ्लूड passing to so we are going to do the analysis of fluid passing through this helical coil with the variable wall temperature the wall temperature of the wall is will be 350 kelvin and the fluid passing through from it is 250 kelvin so we will see the heat transfer using ansys fluent so first of all save this file with the step format then simply go to the workbench and drag the fluid flow fluent from here and we will import the geometry in the step format in the geometry tab right click on it and import geometry with the step format so now simply open this geometry with the in space claim so that we can remove the error from the geometry and prepare the geometry for our analysis so when geometry in the space claim has been opened now we will simply go to the repair tab and we will see the error in the geometries for our analysis so we will select split edges so now you can see that we have found four areas of the split edges so we will double click on it simple to remove the split edges and to make our geometry error free like this so again press this split edges button and now you can see that now we have no area found in the information again select the extra edges and again we have found the four areas so again select these four areas to make your geometry error free now again select extra edges and you can see that we have no areas found now we will select the duplicates so there are no duplicate face directory in the model so now our model is completely ready now we will make the volume which will be our fluid body for that we will go to prepare and select volume extract from here select the edge option from here so this is our first edge and this one is our second edge for our volume and select okay from here so now you can see that our helical coil is filled and we have another body name as volume like this now you can see that this is our volume and this sweep scene will be our fall so our geometry is ready now simply go to the workbench table update this tab and update upstream components and now simply go to the mesh option so when the mesh has been opened we have two geometries here in the geometry option what is one is volume volume and another is sweep scene so we will convert this volume volume geometry to fluid body from here and the another one is our solid body so it will act as a wall and it will be the fluid flowing from this helical coil so now what we will do is we will check the connections so now in the contact region you can see that this inlet body is in contact with this inlet like this so it is okay now we will simply go to the mesh option and we will we are going to use the default mesh if you want to change the mesh option or you can you use the mesh conversion study for better results we are going to use a simple default mesh so wait while our meshing has been done so now you can see that once our meshing has been done we will provide the name selections to the inlet outlet and wall so our first inlet is this one this face of the volume volume body select the face and go to the right click and give the name inlet from here select okay 
Now simply go to the next phase and right click from here, select create name selection and give the name as outlet from here, select ok. Now we will give the name of solid wall, so for that we are going to hide this body and just simply select this, right click on it and give the name selection of solid wall. Select OK from here and now again show this body and hide this sweep thin body. Now simply give this body as a fluid body or fluid wall from here. So now our wall has been selected, right click on it, again go to the create name selection and give the name of fluid wall. So select ok from here, so now our name selection has been ready, our mesh is ready and our geometry is ready for the analysis. So simply minimize this button, update the mesh, tap from here. and also update the upstream components, go to setup, right click on it, go to edit option. So now select double precision from here for better results and in solver processes, you, you, if you have a quad core CPU or processor, you can select 4 from here and if you have the GPU like graphic card, so you can select the one from here, so start it. So once your geometry has been opened in the fluent, so first of all you have to check the mesh tech from here and if you want to improve your mesh quality, you can simply evaluate or improve your mesh quality from here. Now we will go to the physics tab and we will order the energy from here so that we can change the temperature of fluid. So once the energy option has been on, go to the material from here, go to the fluid and we are going to edit this material to water, select fluent database and select water liquid from here, select copy, close. If you want to change the solid material, you can change it from here. Now we simply go to the fluid zone. In the fluid, we are going to change the cell zone from our material from air to water, select OK from here. And in the model, we are simply using viscous SST K omega model, turbulence model and in the boundary conditions, we have inlet boundary condition, select edit from here and give it the velocity of 2 meter per second. So in the thermal, give the value of 250 Kelvin temperature and select OK from here. And if you want to change the type of your inlet, like if you want to give the mass flow rate or pressure inlet, you can change it from this type. So now what we will do is we will change the wall temperature. We are going to change the temperature of solid wall. Go to edit from here and select temperature and give the temperature of 350 Kelvin. Select OK from here. In the methods, we are going to use the second order up, upwind for the accurate result. Now simply go to the initialization and we are going to use hybrid initialization, select initialize from here. So once the hybrid initialization has been done, go to the run calculation and from here give the iteration of 1000 so that we can get the accurate result.
and good residuals. So, now select calculate from here and wait while our solver has been completed. So, once our calculation has been completed, select OK from here. Now, we will do some post processing to see our results. So, for that, go to the results option, right click it and select edit from here. So, now you can see that our geometry has been opened and we can see the simple inlet and outlet. So, first of all, we are going to see the velocity for that, select vector from here and select volume volume for domain and select all domains from here and select the fluid wall contact from here we are going to see the velocity so select apply from here so now you can see the velocity so in the green lines or green vectors showing the velocity of 2.29 and you can also analyze the geometry at these bands and you can also analyze the velocity at these bands from here. So, now if you want to see the temperature, just simply go to the volume rendering, select OK from here, select temperature and select volume volume from here, apply. So, now you can see the temperature as this blue Contour is showing that when the temperature was entering in the pipe, the value is of 250 Kelvin and while it is moving with the wall having the temperature of 350 Kelvin, the temperature of the fluid is also increasing. So, like this you can easily understand the volume or heat transfer in the helical coil. So, if I want to see the temperature at outlet, simply select probe and you can see that the maximum temperature we are getting at outside is 302 Kelvin. So, you can also change the resolution from here for better visualization like this. So, if we will see the pressure, select apply from here. So, now you can see that the pressure is so, like this you can simply analyze the pressure also. So, this was simple tutorial on helical coil using ANSYS fluent and this was the heat transfer analysis. So, thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos.